Um, Doug, Doug Paris football organic with hey guys. Uh, um, tough loss tonight. What this question is for both of you. What is your overall assessment of the game? Um I think they got out to a hot start. Um they're up 21-0 at one point. So that just made it tough for us to really get in a groove and really get into things. Um I think, yeah, defensively we we're able to settle in there. Um but yeah, it was tough um going down early. I think that was really what um hurt us in the end. Yeah, we just lost a lot of momentum. I mean, 21 0 start stuff. I mean, offense couldn't get the ball rolling immediately. And we went three out, three out, and then just a tough way to start. Got to uh, keep drives going, and just can't have those three and outs. Throughout all the games this season until late, you guys were either leading or really close in the first half. But these last few weeks, these first halves have been really rough. Is there anything you can you point to to why these deficits are occurring? The offense isn't moving the ball, the defense isn't stopping the other team. I mean, nothing off the top of my head. I don't know. We just, we're, we're coming out flat, obviously, and we just need to bring more energy off the bench and, and keep everyone focused into the game. How do you guys keep the uh, the energy and enthusiasm up heading into this bowl game after a frustrating end? Uh, I mean, we're, we're going to have to see, you know, what's going on on Monday and uh, figure out the film first. And then you got to get rolling with the guys you have and, and got to, I mean, we got to, correct the mistakes and all the, the questions. Yeah, I think the way, I mean, I think it's always a great opportunity to play college football. So I think it's not necessarily about bringing, I mean, it always is about bringing energy, but I think that's something that's going to be um, not necessarily a challenge for us. Um, you know, we're, we're blessed and privileged to be able to play the sport at the level we do. And, I don't think the energy will change going into the bowl game. I think it's going to be there. All right, we're going to go to Zoom for Jeff Ferrado, Cal Bears on SI. Yeah, one for each of you. Jack, if you could just talk about how difficult it was to not have Fernando there today with your backups really having no advance notice on the change. And, and then, Teddy, if you could just talk about, you know, a lot of times this time of year, players sometimes look at their options besides playing in a bowl game. Um, preparing for something else, perhaps in your case, the NFL. I'm wondering if you're committed to playing in the bowl game or if you've even thought about that. Yeah. Um, I mean, the question about Fernando, obviously Fernando's a, a gamer, you know, he's a, a game changer. He plays live. It's totally different than, than Chandler, just the way they play. So it's obviously difficult to adjust. I think every single position. And uh, I mean, I think Chandler did well for what, what he had today, you know, and he's always, a ground threat as well as can throw, but mostly a ground threat. And I think he did well on his legs, but uh, as a team, we just got to be able to adjust to that. Uh, for me, I plan on playing on the bowl game. Um, yeah, I love this team. It's been a, a great experience for me so far. So I'm looking to finish it out um, whenever that bowl game may be. Thank you both. Thomas Dunn, right for California. Uh, Jack, one quick one for you. Obviously, with the preparation that went into this game, basically it all got turned on its head once you came in this morning. How hard is it to be resourceful in the moment when things just change so much on a whim and with how the game continues to play with the personnel you didn't necessarily expect to have? Yeah, it's just tough. It, you know, just not easy to adjust. We, we've had these plays in. Some of them we had, you know, in fall camp that we had to bring back and, and stuff like that. And it's, it's hard to adjust. And, I mean, you can't just practice, you know, immediately like that. But uh, did the best we can with with what we had, and and we got to just be better. I think every position needs to be better, and I think everything could have worked out. I mean, I could have been better. I mean, always, you know, and, and I think we could have done better. Thank you. Last question for these guys will be Steve Croner of Sub Chronicle. Yeah, for both of you, I, I asked Justin this as well. I know it's been only half hour or so after this game, but you are done with the regular season now. What would be the one or two things about which you guys are most proud of the 2020-24 Cal Bears season and one or two things about which you're most disappointed? Um, most proud, I'm just, I'm just proud of everyone's commitment and um, just effort. Just uh, each and every day, I feel like um, guys were focused and brought great energy and it was uh, a pleasure to be uh with a group of guys um, like that, you know, me joining in June, 
um, and a ton of other guys joining in the portal. I think we came together um, in a way that was special. Um, and yeah, at the end of the day, I don't know that um, I regret anything from the season. You know, obviously you'd like to win more games, but um, you can really only control your effort and the way you come to work every day. And um, I was pleased with the way we did that. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I'll start out with the, the disappointment first. Uh, I mean, the close games, obviously, it sucks everyone for everyone, the coaches too. It just sucks. How close we were to a 10-2 and two team or, or whatever, maybe this game's completely different if we're 10-1 uh, and one going into it. But um, just think, leading that into the what I'm proud of, I'm proud of our guys for holding on. And this se season could have gone a different way. We could have gone 4-8 and eight or whatever we could have gone. You could have lost to Stanford as well. And I'm glad that we all stuck in there and, and finished the season at least bowl eligible. And I think we're going to lead into the bowl game strong.